Spending hours on editing can be a huge barrier to creating your podcast. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the all new Riverside editor so you can create your podcast episodes in no time. And if you wanna follow along, feel free to use the affiliate link in the description and you'll get 20% off your subscription. All right, so the first thing you'll obviously wanna do is to log into your Riverside account. And then once you've logged in, go to your studio and this is the Nick and Sanji studio for the Nick and Sanji podcast. And as you can see, this is all our previous recordings. But today I wanna to edit episode 21 which is our second most recent episode so I'm just going to click on it now the first thing I would recommend doing when you open an episode so that you can edit it is to generate the show notes and the reason I would recommend doing it first will become clear but all you have to do to generate show notes is there's a button just here normally that says generate show notes now I already generated my show notes before I recorded this video and it just takes about a minute and it will give you a summary of the episode that you've recorded key takeaways in dot points, and then all of the chapters of the episode with timestamps, which is super handy for uploading to YouTube or any other platform that you've got your podcast hosted on. So from here, all we have to do is just go to create new edit. So let's just click that and this will load up our editing window. Now just give it a few seconds to load up both tracks in the timeline. Now it's fully loaded up. And as you can see, we've got these two different colors in the timeline down here and each color corresponds with a different speaker. So the pink is Sanji and the green is me. And you can also see the two different colors in the transcripts up here in the text editing box. But the first thing that I always do, even with my own YouTube videos, is to cut out all the silent parts. So there's parts of the video that we might be just fiddling with settings, or there might be a bit of a lull in the conversation while we're thinking of what to say. And so I just want to cut all that out. And it's super easy to do in Riverside. All you have to do is go up to magic tools up here, and then just hit remove silences, apply, and that will take out 149 seconds of silence. So that's already 100 49 seconds of the video that I don't have to edit manually. So that's a big win from my point of view. And as you can see down here in the timeline, we've got darker sections and that's where those silences have been taken out. So now we might want to start actually cutting out any bad takes or sections of the recording that aren't meant to end up in the podcast. So for example, at the beginning, we always just double check our settings, make sure we've got the right mic and camera selected. And that's what we're talking about here at the start of the episode. So I'm just going to find where we actually started. And I think it was just here. So I'm just going to click and drag and highlight the text that I want to take out. And then all I have to do is hit delete. And as you can see, it's got a line through that text now, which means it's been removed from the video. And down here, you can see that section of the timeline is also blanked out because it's been removed. And just like that, it's that simple. And that's one of the reasons why I really like the editor in Riverside is because it's all text-based. You can just literally go through the transcript to find the sections that you want to take out, highlight them, hit delete, and then that will update the video itself. And once you've deleted sections, you can turn off show deleted text and it will just hide that section. And as you can see, the timeline's all nice and cleaned up and if I had gone through and cut out all the sections that I wanted to I could export it from here but there's a lot more that we can do to edit this episode so I'm just going to turn that back on for now to show you how you can finesse cuts and edits in a much more detailed way so let's just imagine that I wanted to take out this section here where I'm speaking so all I have to do is just go to the part in the text where I start speaking which is where I say hmm so let's just click on that that'll cut to that first point so just here on the bottom right corner there's a zoom tool so much as zoom in so I can see that more clearly. So now all I have to do is just hit this button here, which is split. If I click that, it's gonna cut this whole clip into two sections. Now to remove this section, there's a couple of ways I can do it. So I'll just show you the different ways and then you can just decide which one you like the best. The first way is to literally just click and drag to remove that whole section. And just like that, it's gone. So once it gets to this section of the video, it's just gonna have a cut and it will just keep going from where Sanji's speaking. Now, if I undo that, another way to cut this section out is to just find the end point in where I'm speaking, which is this word part. I'll just click on that hit another split and then I can just click on this section which has been separated from the main video and hit the delete button and just like that same effect is totally gone and then if I wanted to just clean up this section a little bit maybe there's a little bit too much space I can just drag it fine tune it up to the spot where Sanji starts speaking again which is about there same on the other side about there and then if we play it back it should be a clean cut 
just like that. And you couldn't even tell that I ever spoke. All right, so let's just zoom out and I'll show you one other way to edit your podcast really quickly. And that is with these chapters up here. Now that's why I recommended generating the show notes at the beginning, because if you don't generate the show notes, you won't get these chapters. So if I click on this chapter here, for example, which is send user tip four, I believe, and just go to the section at the start of that chapter, you can see in the text editor here, it's actually showing you exactly where it is. Now there's a few things here you can do with an entire chapter. You can remove the chapter, you can rename it, or you can delete that entire chapter. So if I hit delete content, that entire chapter has been just totally taken out of the video. So there's a section of the video that you don't like, that you want to remove. It's a really simple and straightforward way of just totally cutting out without even really having to manually go through and kind of figure out where that part starts or where that part ends. So I really like that. Now, if I just undo and bring that back, you can also move these chapters around to different spots in the video. So let's just say I wanted to talk about this tip four after I've talked about my tips. So I can just click and drag that chapter to behind next tips. And just like that, the entire chapter has been shifted in the podcast episode. For example, maybe you forgot to record a section of the podcast and you recorded that section at the very end. All you have to do is find the chapter marker for that section of the video, drag it back to the spot where you wanted it and you're good to go. Now let's just put this back where it was. And if the chapter doesn't start in the exact right spot that you want it to, you can just click and drag to move the beginning of the chapter to wherever you want it. And then the same thing with the end point. So let's just put that back. So that really is how straightforward and easy it is to actually edit the video file of your podcast recording. But still, there's quite a few things that you can do to enhance your podcast episode even more. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is adding extra media. So if we zoom out, there's a button here, the plus button. Just click on that and you can add previous recordings. So previous episode recordings, previous edits that you've made or your own media. So for example, if you've got like a podcast intro video, which me and Sandy don't yet have, we need, to, we need to get onto that. But if you did have something like that, all you have to do is just hit your media. Now I've got a couple of just B-roll clips that I uploaded as a test. So I'm just gonna click on that one. And then as you can see, this clip from the Plaud Note video, which was my last video, is now a part of this edit. Now imagine this was the intro video for our podcast podcast and it's now at the end, which is not the right spot. So all I have to do, zoom out and then just click and drag this clip to the very beginning. I might hide deleted text so we know the spots that we're working with. And there we go. That video is right at the start of the podcast episode. We can just imagine that it's my intro. And again, even if I wanted to add that after our first little introduction section, I could just quickly add in a split and then drag the intro to that section there. So I think that's a really cool feature that they've recently added. So you can essentially edit the entire video just using the text editor, or if you feel more comfortable using the timeline editor, you can do that as well. So you've got both options. All right, so let's just imagine for a second that we've completed the edit, I've made all the cuts and added all the intro videos and everything that I wanted. So now we can start to clean up how it looks and just make it a bit more customized. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was the layout. So if we go over here to the right, we've got this layout button and there's a few different options to choose from. So the first one is grid and this will just keep both your guests side by side throughout the entire video, or you can choose from the dynamic layouts. So we've got full screen, which will cut to whoever's speaking and make them full screen. We've got picture in picture. So if I'm speaking, it'll show me large. And then if Sanji's not speaking, it'll show his video as a small box in the corner. Or we've got split screen, which is Probably the most useful if you've got multiple guests. So if you've got, you know, three or four different people as guests, it will highlight whoever's speaking and then whoever's not speaking will just be put on the side, which is essentially like a Zoom call. Now I'm just gonna, for the sake of this video, put it back to grid and talk about how you can add spacing as well. So if I go add spacing, that adds just a bit of a border around each of our videos and you can round the corners just so it looks a bit nicer. You can even change the video ratio. So you can have it to set to fill, which is what it's currently set to, or to fit. If you've got a really nice backdrop, which we don't really have currently, you can really show that off. Or if you want the faces to be the main focus of the video, you can just hit fill and that maximizes the video like that. Now, another cool thing to do with these borders is you can actually change the background. So if we go to brand, we've got background and just go add a background. And there's a whole bunch of different ones in here that you can select from. And if you just mouse over them, you can see previews of what they look like. So I kind of like 
the simple ones, like they sort of match our style a bit better. Kind of like that one, so I'm just gonna click on that one. Or you can fully customize and upload your very own background. Now, in terms of branding, you can also upload your logo. I'm thinking we should start doing this because I actually haven't done it before, but here I've already uploaded our logo. So if I just click that, we've got it here and I can just click and drag to put it into a spot of the video where it feels like it suits a bit better. I can just scale that down a bit. I might even put it up here. I think that looks, that looks pretty good. So you can overlay branding just like that. Now, the last thing to mention in terms of formatting is that you can change the aspect ratio of your videos. And this is particularly useful depending on what platform you're uploading to. It's obviously preferable to have your video in 16.9 format if you're uploading to platforms like YouTube. But if you're uploading to a short form platform like X, for example, or Instagram, then just go up here next to Magic Tools and you can see a little aspect ratio button. Just click on that and then you can change the aspect ratio to whatever you want. So it's got 916, 169, or one-to-one, -one. and it even gives you examples of the types of platforms that these might work on. So if I go on the 916, and I can just move this little logo out of the way, just so it's a bit neater, and there you go. This whole episode is ready to upload to Instagram, for example, but I'm gonna change it back to YouTube, because that's the one that is my personal favorite, so that we can talk about a couple more features that I want to highlight. First was just tracks. So you can apply changes to entire tracks for each speaker if you want to. So for example, if I wanted this entire episode to just be Sanji, I could just hit hide, and then just like that, I'm taken out of the entire video. Now, obviously this is probably gonna be most useful if you've got multiple people, not just two people in one episode, and for whatever reason you wanted to take one track out, you've got that option there. Now lastly, I just want to talk about captions. And this is again, pretty important, especially if you're uploading to platforms in vertical format like Instagram, but it's also really nice to have on your YouTube videos. So just hit the captions button here, and then you've got these different styles to choose from. So if you just hover over them, you can see a preview of what they're all gonna look like. I kind of like this style personally. I think I might go with the dark one just because it matches my background a bit more. And then from there, we can further customize it so we can select the font. I really like Inter, so I'm just gonna stick with that. You can select the size of the font. So I think having it a bit smaller, I think looks better. So I'm gonna go small. You can select whether it's all caps or not. You can even select the alignment. I'm just gonna leave it centered. And you can change the main text color, which I think is a pretty cool effect. So you can totally match it to your branding. But for me, I'm just gonna leave it white for now. And there's even a highlight color. So as the video plays, the word that's being set at that particular moment can be highlighted. So if I just select that, turn it off and then let it play you can see how that works, which is a really pretty cool effect, especially if you're using it for short form content. All right, so let's just imagine for a second that this entire podcast episode is edited. We've got the logo, we've got the captions, we've got the background and the borders. Now the last thing that's to do is to export it. So all we have to do is just go to share, you select your video quality, so you can go all the way up to 4K if you've recorded in 4K, so I might go 4K. Now I would recommend normalizing the audio levels. And what this will do is if, for example, Sandy his mic was louder than mine, mine was a bit quieter in the recording, it'll equalize the levels so that his voice the same volume as my voice. And that just makes it easier for your listeners to listen to your episode. There's also a remove background noise feature if there was some background noise in your recording. For us, we usually have a pretty quiet environment when recording, so I won't worry about that for now. And you can also make sure the Riverside watermark is removed. You just have to hit export. Now, as it says, Exporting usually takes up to about 10 minutes and then you'll get an email when the exported clip is ready. And from there, you can download it. You can share it directly to platforms like Spotify or upload it to YouTube or wherever you want to post your podcast episode. So there you have it. It's that simple to edit your entire podcast episode right in the Riverside browser editor. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you'd like to learn more about how to create a podcast from start to finish, then check out this video here where I go through the entire process step by step.